Hi Pisces, thank you so much for stopping by. So I am here to do your love reading. This is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Six of Wands. Queen of Swords in reverse. So I'm very much getting this energy for someone who has been really trying to improve themselves, especially the last, you know, maybe few days or a few weeks. It feels like uh, I'm hearing the word eclipse. So it definitely could have been during these eclipse uh, periods of time. This message is for someone who um, I'm seeing also there's a lot of salt surrounding this six of wands. And it feels like this person here is really actually making... I'm actually hearing new neural pathways. So this could be someone who is in the process of right now of rediscovering and kind of being able to think in different ways, think in more positive ways, think in more creative ways um, to make lasting improvements I'm hearing in their life. Uh, and I do feel like this person with the Queen of Swords to come up in reverse could be somebody who is dealing with some energies that again i feel have not been easy for this person to deal with and this person here could be dealing with some uh, issues in their digestive system or going through three of pentacles in reverse something to do with the lack of kind of um what's the word for it almost like there's the yeah the four of wands in reverse the five of cups i'm also hearing depression so okay this this is let me just try to sort of summarize this here to see if this is for you for whoever this is i'm hearing this is someone who is has been dealing with depression, anxiety, sadness. I'm hearing loss of appetite as well. There's something to do with the digestive system, specifically the solar plexus. So if you've been dealing with anything in your stomach area, any, um, you know, whatever it is, digestive issues here uh, and or depression or anxiety, I'm hearing that this is a process of detox as well for somebody. Um, and like I said, there's a lot of salt I'm seeing when I look at the Six of Wands. Uh, and I feel like this person here is really making an effort to improve their life through positive uh, actions or positive affirmations, you know, and energy. And... I'm hearing spirits say for this person that there is actually progress being made. Uh, okay, so if you feel like you have been struggling with this, if you've been struggling with any of this here, you are making progress. There's certain steps that are being made. Progress is being made here for you. And I'm hearing someone say, I just want to enjoy life again. So this is for someone who feels, yeah, four of cups in reverse. I just want to enjoy life again. Um, I'm also hearing this person feels that they've been kind of carrying, uh, it's kind of like if you're on a lake and you're rowing the, rowing the boat and it's almost like there's only one oar. So... What I want to see is the sun in reverse. And I'm hearing from this person that you're still in a processing something. Okay, I'm hearing you're still processing something. And what are you processing? Wow. This is, this is quite a lot. Uh, it kind of feels like there's quite a bit for this person who's been struggling with this depression, anxiety, and it feels like it's actually been 
a lot of dark spots, a lot of darkness that has come in different locations, especially again, I'm getting a blockage in the solar plexus for somebody. Um, and it's like, it's been kind of almost in the, again, I'm getting like the center of the body, maybe. Uh, I'm also being told that this has, for this person, you may have been struggling to think properly or see clearly with the Queen of Swords to be in reverse here. And I feel actually the reality of the situation for this person is not as bad as you may think it is. So if this does sound like you, you could almost be making it a little bit worse than it is, which is easier said than done, but that's what I'm getting here. Uh, I'm also getting a vision of a lawyer. So somebody here could be a lawyer or um, possibly if you are going through some type of legal issue with this here, Three of Pentacles, Four of Wands, then I'm also seeing Dermatology, Dermatologist's Office for some reason, I'm not sure what these signs mean, if those are occupations for someone or if you're visiting a dermatologist. Um, what does this person need to know, Spirit? Tell us a little bit more then about this person and this situation. Knight of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. Here in this person has made some mistakes, uh, made some mistakes, but it's nothing to be harden yourself about um, it's, 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 it's again it's starting with the perception here uh, the perception that this person may have on a situation is making it worse than it is and this may have a lot to do with this person also struggling with self-image um, I'm seeing somebody maybe talking down on themselves or not really truly loving themselves and being able to put themselves first I am hearing from this person, there's a piece of advice coming up from Spirit to kind of, you know, it can even be as simple as rearranging your furniture. Um, if you can, do something that's going to move things around. That could be moving, like I said, furniture around. That could be moving even locations, if possible for you, if that's something that you've been thinking about. Or just trying to kind of, again, like I said in the beginning, creating new neural pathways is what I heard Spirit say. And I feel like what they're referencing with this is kind of in an effort to start to believe more in a different way of thinking for this person. Um, and that's going to be really important for your growth. I feel I'm hearing spirit say for the future as well, not just for right now, obviously, but it's, it's really about if, because I feel like this person feels a little bit like every time I try to move forward, you know, maybe I, I fall back. Um, and the reason for this I'm being told is because there's almost this kind of icy, frozen energy where you have not maybe thawed that out. There's an aspect, there's a part of the self that has not been totally thawed out. Um, and I feel like this will kind of almost like continue until it's being addressed, until somebody is able to more clearly, uh, I'm hearing also more accurately perceive the situation. So I feel like there's a bit of a, I'm hearing underlying cause. So take this how this will resonate for whoever this is for. It could potentially be some underlying cause that you're not aware of that could be giving you symptoms of this depression, anxiety. Uh, again, I picked up on the solar plexus or digestive issues. Obviously I'm not a doctor, but that's something coming up here, but it's also could be more on a spiritual level, you know, there's an underlying issue, an underlying root cause to why this pattern keeps repeating. Spirit saying, dig deeper.
I'm also being told there may have been, a, I, I think there's a term for this, but I can't think of it. Um, when you kind of get stuck at a certain um, phase of your life or you get stuck on a certain trauma, something like that, if I'm explaining it correctly. Um, Three of Swords, yeah, someone got stuck on a certain energetic vibration because I can't think of the actual like term for it, but that's what I'm being told. So dig deeper into discovering maybe why have things been difficult because I'm almost being shown this person who I'm picking up on may have a lot of chaos around them. They may have a lot of chaos and disorganization around their life. And so think back to maybe where did it, where did it all begin? I'm also hearing you're not the only one. So that could mean that you have people who understand that or people who understand you to reach out to those fellow people who understand you. Uh, or people watching this reading maybe or someone saying that I'm not the only one or you're not the only one so maybe it's for you know more than just a few people but um, I'm also hearing too there may be a bit of uh, overly prideful energy ego and it's almost like this ego for this person here could actually be causing some blockages uh, that have uh, what I'm hearing is that there's been unexpressed emotions or unexpressed feelings that again sort of got stuck somewhere along the way in the timeline of your growth and i'm also being told another piece of advice for this person which may sound a little bit weird but they're telling me that if you kind of get naked and take off your clothes and sort of love your body as it is even i guess taking a bath uh, I'm hearing self-soothing, something to do with soothing yourself and focusing on how to make yourself feel good again, um, particularly something with the physical body though. This will kind of help to rejuvenate, uh, I'm also hearing lymphatic drainage, so that's just a specific thing. Obviously again, I'm not a doctor, but that's what I'm being told here. Um, dry brushing is really good for that, something to do with lymphatic drainage. So. Is there anything else, Spirit, about this, this reading here for this person that you want to bring through? The Empress in Reverse. Six of Pentacles in reverse. I'm also hearing uh, uh, advice is also to do with gratitude, uh, holding an energy of gratitude for your life and for your experiences. Um, So also for this person here, you may also feel that there's changes that you know you can make. If you really try hard enough, you can make these changes. Um, and these changes will have a lot to do with the Ace of Pentacles to help you to be more established, I'm hearing, help you to be more established in who you are um, and kind of your life. And I feel with the Six of Pentacles and the Empress reversed, for whoever I'm picking up on here, you would already kind of feel this energy. You already know that these issues have been happening for you. You already know where you're stuck, or you at least know that you have been stuck. And I'm hearing for those of you who actually have a understanding of what that exactly is, it could be anything around you or a certain lifestyle or habit, you already know what that is and you already kind of know how to change it. And Spirit's saying the hope is not lost with the Ace of Pentacles for this person. So. I'm here in the month of January. Uh, something here in the month of January is Five of Pentacles. The Naked Heart.
in the month of January, some of this person here, you could be starting something new or you feel maybe it's the new year or something you're going to set a resolution, something that's going to make you feel like the new year can bring about changes. Um, justice, I'm sorry, temperance. <laughs> Here's justice in reverse. Okay, I'm hearing pleasant surprise. Okay, pleasant surprise. It's like for whoever this is, as you as we get closer to January, there's going to be a pleasant surprise that I feel the temperance card will help you to find a solution for some of for someone specific. This could go a variety of different ways, but I'm seeing you could either be finding a certain um, routine, a doctor, uh, therapy, or finding some solution within yourself, the hermit here, to help to heal, help to mend uh, this whole situation that we've been kind of picking up on here for this person. And it's going to be a pleasant surprise. So you'll realize... I'm hearing that it's going to be kind of a moment of surrender, uh, magician. I'm also hearing some things are not worth fighting for. So I feel also closer to that, closer to that time, this person here for you, you're going to find a new level of perception around yourself closer to that time in January. And you're going to be breaking out of this. Okay, I'm hearing breaking the status quo, breaking out of it. Ton of swords in reverse, the tower. Wow, devil in reverse. Okay, for some, for some in this situation, I'm also hearing that you, by this time or around that time, you're going to be realizing who is the person or who or what is that root cause? What is that underlying reason? Around that time, you're going to find the truth about that. And you're going to feel like you're able to, because I'm hearing misery loves company. Uh, so for some, you may feel like that's the reason that this has been hard for me or that's the reason that things have taken a, a wrong turn before. So pay attention to the kind of signs and pay attention to what towards as the as we end the new year here or end this year, there's going to be more illumination uh, for this person about these patterns, okay? Is there anything else spirit about this for whoever this is for here slowly but surely getting ahead I'm also hearing too for this person that you may feel like you know sometimes you're making a mistake you know or if I do this, then you, you feel like you're making a mistake, but actually the mistakes, it's not a mistake. Um, it's more about you being open to sharing your energy as well. Um, I do feel for this person, it's important for you to understand yourself, but also to, to give a little bit more. Because with the Six of Pentacles in reverse, I can see there's an imbalance of energy. There could be a misunderstanding as well, like I said, that comes in closer to this time um, that you realize that actually this situation or this person or whatever this is, contributed to these energies that you've been faced with. Hmm. Yeah, trouble and accusations.
I'm also hearing here for this person for you here, um, you are kind of beginning to see more of your, I, I said this in the other reading I just did too, more of a sense of spiritual connection and enlightenment is coming in. And the things that once bothered you, I'm hearing, will not bother you as much. The goal-oriented person. I'm also hearing that you're going to feel that there's more of this motivation coming in. Um, I'm hearing the word procrastination too. So you may have procrastinated or been procrastinating something. But it feels like with the target, I'm hearing what do I have to lose? So you're going to see that hard work ahead. I'm hearing the song Beautiful Day. I think it is by U2. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day, yeah. Yes, new creative ideas, new ventures, and a fresh start. And I'm hearing for this person, going back to the very original message, I'm, I'm being told with the Six of Wands, I'm also hearing it's in your hands. So for this situation, it kind of starts with you have to be the one, you know, to make these changes too. Or you are the one. So I'm hearing get out of your head and into your body. So this could be through physical exercise, okay, if this if you're struggling with this here, to get back into your physical body, to get into exercise, and to, like I said with this Five of Cups, to maybe do something different, or take a new routine, or sh uh, change your furniture around, or move things around. I'm also hearing for this person that you could actually be very, you know, you have a lot of intelligence, a lot of intellectual uh, energy as well. And you are, there's many ideas that actually have been almost kind of drowned under these issues. So as you begin to detox and purge this, It helps you to find more balance. I'm seeing someone here as well with the sunrise, possibly having a person or a group of people who help to make you happier. Okay, they could take you out or take you on a date or bring you something and kind of help to inspire you or make you feel happier. Goblins. And I'm also hearing too with the five of cups and the five here, it's very important to allow these emotions for whoever this is to surface don't push them down don't suppress them because the more that you suppress them they actually like these figures here it's like the way they're showing it will actually kind of they like that you know they like to leech onto energies that are lower um so if you if you surrender to it or if you kind of give in to their energy they will continue to haunt you and what i mean by that could be anything from your own kind of negative thinking and how you're perceiving and also possibly uh, psychic attacks and lower energies around you. There's a feeling of just to kind of deal with it, if that makes sense, so that it doesn't take charge of you. Wide open and talisman.
magic stream. Hmm. Yeah, there's a huge pur purification process happening in the next few months. Um, and I feel same kind of message with this tower here too. It does feel like there's going to be a moment where it all makes sense, I'm hearing, or a moment where you can kind of, again, I'm picking up, there's a certain thing, a certain therapy, a certain thing <laughs> that comes in that's going to release these goblins. So, okay, any final message here before we go? for this reading. I'm also hearing dare to do what scares you. Okay, another piece of advice, dare to do what scares you. Yes, the dragon's lair and metamorphosis. And stop overthinking. I'm hearing spirit say, stop overthinking, you already you can never really go wrong. You can never really take the wrong step. It all comes down to Again, I'm hearing pain versus versus pleasure. Something about it's in your hands, okay? So I'm going to leave it there. I hope that this reading could help for someone, whoever this is for. Thanks so much for tuning in. Have a great night and lots of love. Lots of love. Lots of love.